Hi, this is Alice Bull from ScrapbookWonderland.com and the Scrap Happy Membership Group. I'm here at Creativation 2018 with Vicki Booten and she is going to do an awesome demo. Now, if you want to see all of her cool new products that she is bringing out at the show here, you're going to have to catch the other video, her product video, so be sure to catch the link underneath this video. For this one, we're going to see how to use her products and I'd love to have you show us. Well, I want to show we're going to start right with the basics. And one of my favorite tools are my Vicky Booten art crayons. So we're going to focus on just a pink crayon. And I'm going to show you all the magic you can make with this product. So a good way to start is a stamp. This is just one of my new stamps. You take your art crayon. I'm going to grab a baby wipe. I find if it's a little wet, the color just comes off a little faster. And I'm going to color right on my stamp. So color on the stamp. I'm not pressing hard. There's tons of pigment in here. You don't want it all in the grooves of the stamp, okay? I'm going to just get, this is the new paper that I have, the uh, foundations paper. I'm going to mist it, and that's going to activate the art crayon, making it like a stamping ink or watercolor, and stamp with it. Look at that. Just get a little bit more water on the side there. And I did not add any more crayon, you get tons of pigment off of that art crayon. So that's one way to use it. Okay, so we'll put that there. Clean off your stamp. Set it here. And now the next thing. If you like to make lots of watercolor backgrounds, this is an easy way to cheat. I'm just going to color right on you could do it on a craft mat or non pour surface. I just have this sheet of acrylic. So it's easy. You could use packaging technique where you just use um, old uh, packaging or something that you've taken the insides out and you're going to throw away. Here's the key. I, want, I really want to talk about this because a lot of people that are using the art crayons will color directly on and then try to make the um, paint. doesn't work. Okay, because paper is porous. When you color on it, the memory of whatever you drew, you can't rub it off. So make your paint. Okay, I've totally done that mistake. Like, I've been there, done saying? that, yes. and I'm like, oh, this doesn't Doesn't work good. It doesn't work. <laughs> she was lying. I'm not lying. This is a better way to do it. Okay? And then I kiss it like it's your grandma, not like it's Brad Pitt. Because if you press too hard, you will squeeze that out. But do you notice I've not lost any of the intensity of color even? And how much crayon have we used? Hardly anything. Okay, so that's the second technique. Is that okay if I put that there for you? So clean my stencil or the little piece off. I'm going to dry it and I want to show you. So this, remember we talked about the stencil brushes and I said you're, you're going to love them and I'm going to show you why. So I'm going to get a new tag. I am going to grab one of my new favorite stencils, which has been well loved. I'm wearing the color right off of it. <laughs> I'm going to color on the mat again with the art crayon. I'm going to pick it up with my stencil brush. It comes in two sizes. So when you get the pack, you get the larger one and then more of a detail brush. I'm going to take it, pick it up off of, see it picks all the color up. Wait, you're going to be shocked. So right, you've seen the art crayons before. I love that this just breathes brand new life into a product that you might have already. Let's build. Put a little bit more. My stencil brush isn't super clean, so this color is going to be a little purple because there were blue <laughs> was blue on there, but it's okay. I can't wait for the reveal. It's going to be beautiful. So, are you enjoying the show? I'm very much <laughs> enjoying the show. There's so many beautiful things for me to. Um, be planning my scrapbook shopping for the year. <laughs> Love it. I hope I get to get out and see some stuff. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at. So we went, look at another, I say look at a lot. Look at, yeah, look at, look. look. <laughs> but how fun is that? So it's, I don't know, it just extends the use of these crayons. Now, my brush still has pigment in it, right? Yeah. So imagine I take this, I put it on my dirty baby wipe because I'm going to clean the brush off. 
what that's in essence done is reactivated what's on there and I can go in there on my stencil and look at get even more pigment out of it in a more of a it's a wetter technique look at that so the takeaways for this I want you to realize tons of pigment in these art crayons you are not going to use one up like the whole crayon in one project you do not need to press hard with it you don't um, there's tons of pigment in there you don't need to you're just wasting your product I want to show you remember we talked about the rose gold let's see it in action can we do that too Ooh, yes okay, look at, <laughs> get ready for it oh, isn't it's it beautiful so, pretty. so let's show you the rose gold before I show you one more thing with the art crayons okay I have one hand so just bear with me so I'll put this stencil on to show you something different I am going to take my palette knife and you don't need much less is more you can always add but you can't take away okay and then you just pull it through your stencil and it's a texture paste okay look how pretty okay rose gold place clean your stencil it's way less work when you do it when it's wet I clean my stencils I have learned that the hard way <laughs> because I like to keep the integrity of the pattern so just give it a quick wipe. You can, um, if you're close to a sink, it's even easier if you're running underwater, okay? Let's show you one more thing. So remember the art crayons, we talked about that, and I said I love them? I want to show you another reason why. So if I put the rose gold away and I get the iridescent out, so right, crushed happy unicorn tears, clean my brush, put this on here again, how we did and made the watercolor. That's me, just so you know. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my brush. That's how you see it in Spanish. Yeah. Here we go. Look at that. So now I just now made iridescent. Yes. <laughs> So let's grab another tag. Look at that. So, lesson learned, the iridescent glaze is also, all of them are water soluble as well. So they will blend. I could do it thicker if I shaved the ends off of the crayon and blended it without water. I can also make tinted thick texture paste. So I just, it's, it doesn't have to be hard. Mixed media really can be basic. It's just learning to break the layers down. Everything I've showed you individually, you could layer to make a finished project. So if people want to see more of the videos and get more ideas of how to use things, where's the best place to look? My YouTube channel. Just, if, just Google search Vicki Boot and you'll find my YouTube, my Instagram, my Facebook, uh, where I'm teaching, teaching online, videos. I do lots with American Crafts and I do lots on my own. So there's lots of info out there, and the whole thing is allow yourself time to play, educate yourself just by watching the videos, and have fun. Right? Right? Yay. Right. Getting messy is super fun. It and is. You make it very approachable, and that's one of the reasons I love it. And you don't have to be a scrapbooker. This could go in any type, any of your crafting. Great. So look for Vicky online, get some more ideas for mixed media, and if you like this, be sure to like and subscribe.